required for this tutorial is a computer, a laptop or a device which you can use to download items. So if you want to go download the software there will be a link in the description with a tutorial from another YouTuber's channel. And in that channel they'll explain how to download the software for free, it's basically Photoshop for free and also shows you how to get the plugins which I use in the tutorial. And yeah, if you want to go do that, go press the link in the description, then come back onto the tutorial and I'll show you how I make my thumbnails. Hey guys, it's Matt here and welcome back to another video where today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make custom thumbnails. So basically I started off by taking a photo of me, emailing it to myself and downloading it. I put it on a software called paint.net. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right corner, the screen was not the correct size. And if you want to make a thumbnail, it has to be 1280 by 720. So what I did is file, then press new, then typed in the correct amount of pixels, which is 1280 by 720, which is used for every single YouTube thumbnail. I then pressed OK, went back to the original photo, copied it and pasted it into this new document. Once you paste it, you're going to keep keep canvas size and then scale down the image so it fits on your canvas how you want it to. Okay, so what I did next was I pressed the duplicate layer button which makes another version of the previous picture so I can use it later on. Once I did this, I went to the rubber and removed the background leaving just my face and my hand. Press the tick next to the previous layer which is the original photo and went to effects and put a blur on it. So this will bring your focus to my face and make sure the background is not in focus too much. Please note these are plugins and they don't come in the software so if you want to go install the plugins I will leave the links in the description. I then went to effects, object and drop shadow on the layer where it was just my face. I created a white border by dragging the thing to zero hardness and a wide border so it will like leave a line around my face drawing an outline. I then went back into the effects, went to object, drop shadow, and this time I used a black, but I didn't do a hard line, I did it so it's smooth, and it will make a contrast with the white, therefore making like a pop um, effect so it makes the picture stand out even more. I then created a new layer and started to do the text. So what I did, you press T, and then you start typing whatever you want. I wrote how to make for the first bit, and then changed the font to one which I liked. I started to rearrange the order of where the text was and introduce a new layer with a new wording. And this one says custom and then thumbnails. I then merge down the two layers of text where it says how to make into one layer and then custom thumbnails into another layer by pressing the little button which has an arrow and two pieces of paper on the right side. I then went back onto the text, held down shift using the magic wand tool, went to effects, then color and then gradient. So this allows you to get multiple colors in the same text. So what I was doing was experimenting with different colors to see what it looked like. So um, if you select both yellows and reds, it will create a yellow to red gradient with yellow at the top and red to the bottom. You can then drag at the bottom where you want the colors to be. I didn't really want that, so I decided to go with blue to green as you can see here. Um, I recommend using like smooth colors, not like ones which are completely different on the color wheel as it won't really work well if you do it like this. Then onto the custom thumbnails layer, shift click it with the magic wand tool and did the same, this time using a different color so it stands out more as this is what I wanted to catch people's eye. I then used um, yellows and um, other colors and experimented and decided that orange and red would look like a good color. I then used the same technique as earlier by going to effect, object and drop shadow. This time I used a black outline on the text. This will make it stand out more and like make it a harsher look so it will catch everyone's attention even more. I then went onto Google, pressed images and search sunburst. This is like an effect which people use and it's basically a burst of colour coming from the centre. I went over, got an image from the internet, copy and pasted it into the document created a new layer just below my face and pasted it in. I then double clicked the layer and this new little hotbar comes up. You can select different layer options. I think I decided to go with overlay as it shows the background still and shows the colour. I then created a new layer again, went into the tool section and created a rectangle. I increased the size so it was a thicker rectangle and made sure each side was an equal length by um, roughly estimating it by just at looking at it. I then went and changed the colour of what it will look like, I went for a green look and then by doing the same technique again you double click on the layer 
and press whatever you want. I think I went with um, overlay again and it creates an interesting look. I then dragged it below my face so my face is still showing over the edges giving it an interesting look and it just makes it really different to other thumbnails. I then went on to Google again and searched Arrow. This came up with many pictures of arrows. I copied and pasted it. I used the magic wand tool, selected where the white was, increased the hardness and pressed delete. This will remove the background of where the arrow is, leaving just the arrow and removing the white area. This allowed me to get a better look and it makes it fit in with the thumbnail instead of having a big white bulge around it. I then changed the angles and the size of the actual arrow and moved it to where I wanted it to be to try and fill in the little gap between how to and the word make. So it will fit in and then has an arrow pointing at the word custom thumbnails. If you did find this tutorial useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more YouTube tricks there will be some more videos on this soon such as how to make channel art and other YouTube tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, if you want to see another video, click the button on the left. If you want to see one which is completely random, click on the right. And yes, if you do want to subscribe to my channel, press the button in the middle.